Amen. That's a prayer. the Holy Field, he had John 3.16 on his box of belt. And he had belief in God. So, he had John 3.16 on his belt. And so why can't black male explorers have belief if he had believed though. So, I want to encourage everybody today to have belief just like that box. Mm -hmm. And whatever you have to do, you must have belief into it. So now, now all we got to do is have belief in God that you can do anything through Christ my Lord and Savior. So it is all because of God that you are here, standing here today, and sitting here right now in this congregation. It is only because of God that you have believed in God and faith, because faith cometh by hearing yes. the word of God. Amen. So it, so it approximately puts together what I'm trying to tell you here is that you must have belief in God that you can do anything what you want to do, like play box, boxing, football, anything. Anything that you want to do, you must have belief. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. That Lord and Savior have belief is the key to what you must do to get to success. Like if you want to pass at Orders College. Mm. Like Miss Miss Brooks. Like if you want to graduate from at Orders College, you must have belief and faith that you will succeed. Yes, you do. That's good. Most of all. 
all of them. Well, I encourage you today so when the next Sunday comes, which we all know is full of Sunday, so when the next Sunday comes, I want you to say, I have belief in God mm. in your mind. I have belief in God. And then when they ask who wants to be baptized, you go up front. Mm. And having belief in God is the key to heaven. Now, only because he is my master. And then, Evander Holyfield is now what I call my inspiration because he has belief in him. He has belief in himself. He has belief in himself. Mm -hmm. Belief that he could ever make it through all them challenges. He was knocking everybody out. He had belief that he could become the heavyweight champion of the world. Mm. God made that dream possible for him. Right. So the next point I want to talk about is giving up your family or anything for the world. Giving up anything. Like, giving up your child. What if you was in the position that God was in? Ah, speak. That God was in, and he died on that ragged blood cross. Mm. <laughs> he bleed. He bled and died. So, what if you was in that position? Then, you would understand why God died for us in this world. Because mm. if he hadn't died, we would have been still yeah. in the world that when Romans were killing everybody. Romans did all that stuff until God came in the picture. They had to get rid of God by killing Jesus. They didn't have to kill him. He ain't do nothing wrong. The high priest charged him with belly. Amen. He ain't do nothing wrong. Why did he have to die? He ain't do nothing wrong. But he chose to die anyway. He knows he didn't do anything wrong, so he chose to die for me and your sins. Yes. Now the world is free because of all that stuff that Jesus did. All that stuff that Jesus did, it is one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me. By Jesus dying for us. Somebody should be saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God has died for us. Amen. Now, now, think about what you would do if you were in God's position. Mm. But that's, but that's not where the story is. They, the Romans thought he was done. Mm. The Romans thought he was done. And he wasn't done. He rolled, he rolled his stone away, got up, mm. got out of that tomb, and walked. And yes. walked again. Yes, he did. The doctor said I would never walk again and have no way of breathing uh -huh. or no way of living. Mm. But then God came in that room yes, God. Yeah. where I was. God came in and he saved me that I was. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yes, you did. Hey, God.